Schneider, uh, John Iliff, a Program Manager for National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, Jim Atchison, Hale Walker and Mike Canfield from First Preferred and Michigan Mutual, Dr. Nasser, Michigan State Senator Phil Pavlov, Michigan State Representative Paul Muxlow, Doug Tuma, Chair of Blue Water Land Fund, Patty Troy, Chair of Binational Public Advisory Council, Jeff Baum, Chair of St. Clair County Board of Commissioners, Pauline Rep, Mayor, City of Port Huron, Randy Myers, Lynn Alexander, staff of the Community Foundation. It takes these and many of you that are in the audience to make this happen. So thanks for being here. Thanks for being here. Please to introduce uh, U.S. Senator Debbie Stabenow. Well, good morning. What a pure Michigan day. Uh, Isn't this why we love Michigan? I'll tell you. And I know it's a little cold, but hey, that's part of loving Michigan, that we know that. Uh, it's wonderful to be here. Don, uh, thank you uh, as chair of the Community Foundation for all of your uh, leadership. It's great to be here with uh, Congresswoman uh, Candace Miller and to Jim, who uh, everyone has said there's going to be a statue here somewhere that says the angel of Port Huron, right? And uh, we, Jim, we want to thank you. Uh, this, it really is about partnership and it's about reclaiming our heritage uh, for our children and our grandchildren. It's about economic development. It's about environmental revitalization. Uh, this is a shoreline that's being revitalized after 100 years, as we all know, 100 years of use by factories and shipping companies. Uh, we already have 400 feet of the river walk completed. So this is a part of that continuation. And very soon, people are going to be able to walk along the river and see what the early settlers saw when they arrived which was the natural beauty of the St. Clair River. In fact, in 1803, a surveyor of St. Clair County said the settlements sit on, quote, one of the most delightful rivers in the Western world. And we would go even farther in terms of being most beautiful. Uh, we know that we have a strong economy if we make things and grow things and if we preserve what we have. And number one is our water and our beautiful Great Lakes and all that connects us. And so, uh, today, uh, this is about celebrating public-private partnerships. Um, I'm so pleased we've been able to uh, see a grant from the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative come to help this effort, and this is an ongoing effort with the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative for all of us. A grant from the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Services, of course, contributions, uh, 